Hi guys and welcome back here to Drone Emotion. Today we're back here once again with some very exciting news regarding the Mavic 3 and that is because literally just a few minutes ago the official images of the Mavic 3 have just been linked and in today's video we have all of these images for all of you. I mean everything has leaked from the accessories to the drone to the Mavic 3 and to the Mavic 3 scene because keep in mind they're going to be two different versions of the Mavic 3 and well both versions have been leaked and in today's video we have all of the high resolution images for all of you today's video is going to be one you're not going to want to miss out on but before we get started with today's video if you're new to the channel welcome here and if you want to keep up to date with the latest news and updates on any upcoming DJI product whether it is the Mavic 3, the Mini 3 or the Action 2 well guys this is the place to come for all of that info and updates and also we're currently in the road to 10,000 subscribers and right now we're extremely close from reaching 8,000 so if you're new and you're not subscribed yet well I invite you to go ahead and join the Drone Emotion family so you can help us reach that goal which as I already mentioned we're getting very close to reaching so without any much further ado why don't we just go ahead and get it started with today's video because it's probably going to be the most exciting one we've had I will even dare to say in the past two to three years and well we've been waiting for the Mavic 3 to release for over three years and well the day has finally come I literally want to cry and that is because thanks to a great friend Nils Arinsamayan in Twitter he was able to share and get his hands on the official images of the Mavic 3 so a huge thanks to him thanks to our great friend he's over in uh, in Hamburg in Berlin so dann kann man in guten Freunden das Fotografieren von dem Mavic 3 sind großartig danke schon so a huge thanks to our boy Nils we truly appreciate it, so make sure you check him out so that out of the way why don't we just go ahead and take a look at these official images of the Mavic 3 these are the official retail images these are not renders these are not any kind of sketches this is the real deal that is going to be presented by DJI November the 5th so next week on Wednesday so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got so there it is the long awaited Mavic 3 so what we have right here is going to be the standard version the Mavic 3 this will not be the Cine, Mo, the Cine Mavic 3 so first thing that we see is the color nice gray tone quite similar actually to what we have on the Air 2S we get those orange deep props and we get right here a nice view at the under panel of the drone and that heatsink first thing that we see is two very big optical flow sensor and some infrared sensors at the back and also our LED light in the bottom and of course our big camera right there we have a dual setup camera in the top we have a half inch sensor camera that will be our telephoto and then in the bottom we have our main camera that will be our wide angle lens and that will have a micro four thirds sensor and that is going to be very big and it will have 20 megapixel images now for anyone wondering how big is the sensor was well, basically twice the size of the one inch sensor that we had with the original Mavic 2 Pro so there's another view of the drone it definitely looks really good now one thing that I need to note and it is the back part of the drone and that is a bit odd to me the, th the fact that we have two different shades of gray with the Mavic 3 doesn't look good to me I don't like the fact that DJ decided to go with that kind of two-tone uh, top shell so if you can see on the corners the corner sensor and top sensors of the drone are a very dark shade of gray while the rest of the body is very light let me know what you think of DJ's choice to go for that colorway and base I'm really not a fan of it but nevertheless that's what we have also something to mention is we don't have corner we don't have sensors in both the left or the right part of the drone that is because they have now been to the cor been moved to the corners in order to save some weight we also see a very big hood scoop in the front of the drone that's going to be a big air coolant in order to cool down that drone so you're going to be noticing that all throughout the aircraft we're going to be having a lot of bends because this drone is going to be a very powerful drone and it's going to be needing to cool down those electronics on the inside now there's another picture of the Mavic 3 I really like this view what we have right there is another 
angle of the drone and the fact that I like about this Mavic 3 is that it kind of looks from this angle like a mini inspired 2. Just take a look at the arms of the drone, we can see how they have that angle, they're quite, the camera is quite a quite elevated from the ground and that's something that's really good ground clearance is, is always truly appreciated now we do see that we're going to be having our led lights in both on each arm on each arm of the aircraft so that is nice to have now there's another view of the drone this is going to be folded expect the size of the drone to be around the same size of the original mavic 2 pro it's going to be weighing 920 grams now there we have the controller unfortunately we have the same boring controller that we have with the mavic air 2s it will have oxygen 3.0 we don't have an lcd screen and that is a big letdown for me i mean we're basically basically paying over $2,000 for this drone and the fact that we're getting the same controller that we get with the Mini 2 which is a $500 drone for me it's unacceptable but well that is what we have now those are the propellers of the drone and well there it is the Mavic 3 in all its flesh now here we have the Mavic 3 Cine I don't know if it's just me but in this picture it kind of looks a bit darker now what will the difference be between the Mavic 3 and the Mavic 3 Cine well it's basically going to be the same the only thing that will be changing will be the internals and that is because with the Mavic 3 Cine we're going to be having Apple Pro Res in addition to that we're going to be having one terabyte of solid state drive in the inside of the drone so those will be the main differences between the Mavic 3 and the Mavic 3 Cine so for me i think that for most people the mavic 3 will be more than enough now here we have another high resolution image and what one thing that i want to note is the gimbal of the drone i'm a bit scared right now because i'm not 100 percent positive if the gimbal if the gimbal is made out of plastic or aluminum let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below do you think it's made out of plastic or aluminum it could be black aluminum but i'm not 100 percent sure hopefully dji was able to make it aluminum because if they did a plastic i mean that would not be good especially for a drone this caliber this is dji's highest tier drone so i'm expecting to see the highest quality materials so there we have a top view of the drone it looks really good it looks like the shade of the gray is looks quite similar actually to the air 2s gray it actually looks a bit lighter than what we had with the previous generation mavic 2 pro well there we, have, there we have our last image of this bad boy it definitely looks really good i think this mavic 3 will definitely be selling great let me know what you guys think of the design of the drone it definitely looks a bit refreshed from the previous generation we're going to be having a 46 minute flight time if you in case you were wondering we're going to be getting upgraded ESCs and we're gonna still be having 360 degree of obstacle avoidance protection so those are the official images of the Mavic 3 what do you guys think do you like the Mavic 3 were you hoping for something better for a different design I am let's say I'm quite satisfied with that with what DJI did especially in the camera department and in the flight time department I think they knocked it out of the park 46 minute of flight time combined with a micro four thread sensor able to shoot at 5.2k resolution and 20 megapixel images i think that's something that's pretty much going to be unbeatable for any other competition now at this point we pretty much know everything regarding the mavic 3 we're still missing on the pricing so as soon as the official pricing leaks you already know you're going to be having that information here first but it is expected that it's going to be starting for the basic combo at around two thousand dollars plus and then for the flamboard combo around 2700 and then for the cine premium combo that's going to be the most expensive one and we're expecting that to come at around over four thousand dollars but as soon as those prices are confirmed you already know you're gonna be having that video here first and well that's going to be a wrap for today's video i hope that you enjoyed it and well this mavic 3 will be presented november the 5th that is right around the corner less than a week and a half to go before it is actually presented i hope that you do, that you enjoyed today's video thanks so much for watching and great thanks to our boy nailed iron smile thank you for watching and see you tomorrow with a brand new video this is drone emotion signing out